I want to welcome everyone, and this is the last viewing of the bicentennial banners in town. So th this is it. It, it. Some of you may have seen them all throughout last summer. They were put up last April, and they were up for the parade and all through the summer, and we took them down in November. Um, now, it was a year ago this month that we had the contest, and we had about 38 contestants, you know, who entered uh, entries into the art banner contest. And of that, we picked eight banners. And of course, part of the, uh, the award for winning is that the artist will get to keep his or her banner, uh, along with a little bag of goodies here. And it's really important to recognize the folks who did the work and took the time to actually work on putting the art together, because it's very important for the town. It helped the town look good for its bicentennial celebration. And we, from the Bicentennial Committee, thank you for the hard work you did in putting those banners together and doing the artwork. Because without the work that you've done, we wouldn't have anything. So we want to really thank you. And I'll, I applaud you guys. All right. So with that said, we're going to go around the room and take a look at the banners. and. Uh, just do a little description on on why they won. Now, it's important to realize that the Bicentennial Committee itself did not pick the winners. It, they, were, uh, they were judged by members of the uh, Quinnebog Valley Center for Arts and Humanity, which is the art center where we're standing right now. So we, we thought it was best to have the local artists pick the winners. Just like what we did when we had the uh, logo contest the previous year, where we had sh where Charlene Arazzo was picked, that was also done by the art center. They judged those all those entries as well. So anyway, this is the first entry. This is done by Joshua Huber, and it's a a bowling alley, which is really nice because part of the uh, the requirements is it had to be a part of everyday life in the town of Southbridge and. Bowling is part of everyday life, and I think this is really great, you know, and on it he has aisle 16, which is really kind of neat. It's a, little, it's a little thing that's there that kind of points to the bicentennial year. So that's uh, Joshua's work, and unfortunately Josh isn't here right now, so, so he'll be getting that banner back. It's part of his, his prize, and as we move on, we'll come over this way. And we have uh, David's, uh, David Adorno. Come on over here, Dave. You're actually here, so you get to stand here. Very nice. Now, this, this is uh, an image of American Optical. Mm -hmm. And uh, it's a great piece of work. He's got perspective happening there, and the flag, and everything's going on. And one of the things that you'll notice as we go around the room is that the original artwork is attached to the, to the banner, the submitted artwork. And then the company that did the banner work, which is a company named Carrot Top down in South Carolina, they actually digitized the images and they, they enlarged them to make them ready for presentation. And they, they did a fabulous job on the banners because they were up through all kinds of nasty weather and they held up just great. They didn't even fade. But David's work is a, is a great piece of work showing the American Optical, a big part of everyday life here in Southbridge. Uh, you, can't th you can't go through the town without passing it, really. You know, it's, it's, a, it's all over. Dave, do you have anything you want to say? No. No? <laughs> Brave man. <laughs> so, so what gave you the idea to uh, do the American Optical? Is it because it's just something you see all the time? Yeah. No, oh. because I always walk past when we take walks or like when we're driving by. Okay, yeah. So that's really a great piece of work. Thank you, David, for that. Okay. Great job. Good job, buddy. All right. The next one, come on over here. This is done by Olivia Carrier. And it's an image of the town hall. And you can see the original work of art here. And there's the uh, finished work of art. And uh, you'll see it, it's the town hall. And uh, what gave you the idea to do the town hall? 
Well, my sister used to do volleyball, and we, she would practice at the old high school, and we used to always pass that when we went to pick her up, so I just kind of thought of it. Yeah, okay, that's great. It's a great-looking building. You know, the town hall was built in 1888, and it's a real landmark in town. So thank you so much, Olivia, for doing this. All right. Now we'll come over here. Here's the next one. Okay, Sarah, come on over. Here's another image of the American optical clock tower. Now, this is a, an amazing piece of artwork. Um, it almost looks like it's professionally done. The, the, the actual art, it's, it's very, the lines are straight. It's really nice job. You did a great job on this. And uh, of course, Carrot Top has re replicated the image. They digitized it and put it on good vinyl, which was displayed all summer. Uh, what gave you the idea to do the clock tower? I don't know, like when I think of Southbridge, that comes to my mind, and so I just drew it. All right, good, good. That's a great piece of artwork. Thank you so much, Sarah. Good job. And now, <laughs> okay, so how, how do you, do you want to be called Maritza? Sure. Is it, no, what do you like? What's, Mari. Mari. Okay. Look at this. This is an amazing piece of work. This is the Lens Park. It's kind of from above. It's, it's right next to American Optical. It's, it's what we call the town common today. And uh, I love the fact that you have the eyeglasses in there, the bench, the trees, a little puppy running around, <laughs> another tree in the police station over here. What gave you the idea to do that? Um, usually I walk with my sister or my cousins too um, over here or with my mom and so that's just what I thought of. Oh, okay. It looks really terrific. It, yeah. And unfortunately this one, this one the original and you're lucky because the original one unfortunately burned in a fire. There was a, some of you may recall there was a fire on Main Street and one of the buildings was destroyed. This was a banner that was hanging right in front of it and it ended up being destroyed in the fire. So this, uh, the company actually had its files with all the artwork, so they were able to replicate the, uh, the banner. So it's the exact same banner that hung there, only it's a replication. All right, and of course, here's the original artwork. Great job, Mary. All right, now Charlene Arazzo, we, some of you may recall her name because she was the winner of the banner contest back in 2014, and, and that, the, the logo contest, I'm sorry, the logo contest. Now that logo, original logo, is actually on one of the banners that shared a spot with each one of these banners. So when the banners were mounted on Main Street, they were two-sided double banners, which me meant that there was a lamppost, and on each side of the lamppost there was a banner. The one banner had the artwork that was done by the children, the contestants here, and the other side had either the town logo or the bicentennial logo on it. Those two banners are actually over there, and so they, they're, they're going to go in a time capsule, and, and in 50 years, it'll be dug up. <laughs> so anyway, Charlene Arazzo also entered one of... Uh, an idea for a banner in the banner contest and, and she also is one of the eight winners. So this is her banner and unfortunately she couldn't be here today. She's in Florida? Florida. Okay, so it was hard for her to be here and we couldn't hook up a, you know, a satellite <laughs> conference with her so... My mom could play her Okay. <laughs> so this is Charlene's banner and she'll be getting that. All right. Now over here, we have Lana's uh, banner, and uh, unfortunately Lana isn't here. Okay, so she's in Webster right now. All right, but she also had a beautiful banner, and uh, 200th anniversary, um, a great job replicating it by the folks at Carrot Top again, but uh, another real original piece of art showing basically everyday life here in the town of Southbridge. It's a, it's a couple of children with a dog and a cat and the flowers. Oh, I think those are the fireworks going off. Um, and amazingly enough, she, she did it before there were fireworks. So. <laughs> 
the fireworks were in August, and these, this was last March. So that's a great job. And uh, then we have um, this one over here. Come on over here. And uh, this is Blake, Blake Andrews. And this is his banner. Now, this is an interesting one. We, we didn't have any other submissions like this one. This is the World War I monument right here on, on Elm Street. Now, uh, Blake, what gave you the idea to use that? Well, I thought of it because my friend was doing it, and I thought it was cool when he was doing it. And then I also had memories from when I was younger because we went there for, like, field trips and stuff. Oh, okay. Okay, that's great. And that's, a, that's another great piece of artwork showing the, uh, a piece of everyday life. It's a, it's a landmark, well-known landmark, right on Elm Street. It's right across the street from the town hall and next to the fire department. And another great piece of art. Thank you so much, Blake. All right. And last but not least, we have the, the two banners that we talked about just previously. The, uh, the Bicentennial logo banner is over here. That's Charlene Arazzo's artwork. And then we have the Town of Southbridge official logo, which was Town Seal. Town seal. Yeah. We call it logo uh, seal. Town Seal. And Tom that. Clark will be upset with you. Okay, the Town Seal, the official Town Seal. And it's, um, that was done by, uh, who remembers her name? The Druid. Yeah. There's actually a sanctuary named after her. You got it. Claire Birds did that when she was a girl. <laughs> it was done before 1916. So that, that's, that's a, little bit of, a little bit of history for you. Uh, also, you know, once again, we have to thank the Arts Center, the folks at the uh, Quinnebog Valley. Valley Center for the Arts and Humanities, again, for letting us use the space to do this presentation. Uh, also, this space is also used by the Historical Society, the Garden Club. There's all kinds of activities that go on here, and you can find out those activities just by going to its Facebook page. So, but anyway, once again, I thank everyone for coming, and it was a great bicentennial year that we've had, and we still have a couple of things coming up. We have the book that will be published soon, and we also have the time capsule, which will be going into the ground probably in May. So we're looking forward to that, and hopefully you'll all be able to come and enjoy it also. All right. Thank you, everyone. Oh, oh wait. <laughs> Francine, is, Francine, is, uh, Francine is egging me on here. This is all part of the prizes, too. I have a bag of goodies for you. <clears throat> yep, she is. Charlene has a Unfortunately not. Unfortunately not. That's... But we do have we do have the sets of Christmas ornaments. There's the uh, town common uh, bandstand. There's the uh, police station in here, and there's also the uh, town uh, American Optical Tower. And there's also the town hall, the American Optical Tower, and yeah, let's take them out so we can so we can look. <laughs> there they are. So you have the the, the town common. Bandstand, you have the American Optical Tower and the Town Hall. You will also each receive a, a coin. This is a bicentennial coin. And on the bottom of the coin is a number. And we will be having a drawer in, not today, but in the future. And the person who has the number will win $200 for a dollar a year. <laughs> for the age of the town. It's 201 years old, but we don't have that much money. <laughs> and we also have t-shirts for everyone. It's a nice price. Huh? Okay. They're youth large, so we have to youth large. if it doesn't Yeah, if it doesn't fit. CB at the town hall, we can change it. So you can exchange it. All right? So we will hand these out. Yes, yeah. I'm gonna, I'll just put these here. All right. Here you go. Right, Charlene's the seventh. Here you go, Blake. Come on up. Thank you. And thank you. This one is for you, Dan.
David. And once again, thank you all so much. Does anyone have any questions or anything? Yes. Sure. It's right here. Yep, she has. Thank you so much.